Capture the Flag is an organized game which helps students, professionals, or even students and professionals uh, sharpen their skills, learn, and have hands-on experience with tools uh, tracking vulnerabilities down. In episode three, we address where you should exactly sharpen your skills. Uh, if you have zero knowledge, if you have intermediate knowledge, this is what I recommend and the platforms that I recommend. Hi everyone, my name is Grant Collins. This is episode three of four. We readdress the question itself that I have literally repeated now. Uh, what platforms should I use in order to sharpen my skills for CTF specific uh, ta type tasks, competitions, events? If you have not yet watched episode one, or two, I recommend that you click the episodes down the link in the description below or in the cards, and you can watch those first before watching episode three. So if you can recall from episode two, there are certain types of skills that I advise that you really sharpen before going into a CTF competition and being competitive. I highlight competitive because of course you can go into a CTF with no knowledge and still learn great things, but just being competitive with a CTF. These types of skills include programming, knowledge behind cryptography, familiarity and exploitation techniques, Linux distributions, forensic, and knowledge of reverse engineering. So let's go ahead and dive into the particular resources I've found and the particular resources I utilize to train for CTF competitions. Let's assume a few things here. You are a student who knows little behind CTFs. You're on a budget and you need easy accessibility to these platforms. You know, since I'm a student, uh, I understand exactly what it's like to be on a budget. I understand what it's like to uh, have something where you need to be accessible. It can't just be a one time thing. It needs to kind of be a lifetime thing. So having these ideas in mind, uh, knowing what it's like to be there, uh, I have come up with platforms which really are cheap and give you the best value possible. So let's start with programming. Make sure to check out this video right here, which addresses the exact programming languages you should learn, the platforms uh, that I recommend students use to learn programming. The resource I highlighted in reference to that video is Pluralsight. I recommend Pluralsight for all students who are going to pursue IT certifications or uh, learning how to program itself. Uh, they have various languages. They have authors, um, they have, I mean, honestly, they have what you need to learn how to program. But what I really like about Pluralsight is it's just it is an organized professional network where you actually are going to get value for your money. Uh, it's relatively speaking, the pricing is very cheap and the value you're going to get in return is huge. FYI for all of the resources that I mentioned are in the description down below. So you don't even have to go and like look them up on the internet. You can just click the, the, just the, the links in, in the description below and you will have access to everything that you need. The other resource I highlight, I have that in caps within my script. Uh, the, the course that I really recommend and highlight is the Complete Python for Hacking Cybersecurity Bundle on Station X. This is a great resource to learn Python, the Python syntax anyway, and to learn hacking techniques using Python. This is huge. So I really recommend the course is cheap. It's 30 bucks and you get three access to three courses and, and this is a bundle. I highly recommend it. Link down in the description below. In addition to both of these resources, I also recommend yet another course bundle on StationX called the Ultimate Bash Shell in Python Scripting Bundle, which is on StationX. This is yet again another great resource and one that you will totally need for CTFs in terms of scripting. So if you are somebody who wants to uh, learn programming itself, I recommend Pluralsight and StationX. Knowledge behind cryptography. Uh, the course that I really recommend when it comes to cryptography is, is on Coursera. It's called Cryptography I-1. Uh, in addition, they have advanced cryptography courses so you can further your learning process in the cryptography. If, again, if that's something you're really interested in, they have advanced courses that you can continue to further your knowledge. 
I recommend students check out two resources for uh, exploitation techniques. Number one is the complete cybersecurity course, the recommended cybersecurity course for all students. I had to do that. I had to do that. I'm sorry. The complete cybersecurity course, uh, if I re recall quickly, I can think uh, volume two and volume one. Uh, volume one and two are going to probably be your best bets for understanding the exploitation techniques. And in addition, to the complete cybersecurity course, the complete cybersecurity course recommended for all students. The second course I recommend is called The Art of Exploitation on Cyberry. Uh, Cyberry also has other courses regarding exploitation. Highly recommend you check out those courses on Cyberry if you are looking for exploitations. For Linux distribution, yet again, we have Station X. Station X comes in with uh, two course bundles that you can buy, starting with number one, which is the Ultimate Linux Mastery Bundle, uh, which outlines and teaches you Linux itself. So it's not particularly towards Kali or Black Arch or Arch Linux, but it is um, teaching you just the fundamentals behind Linux and something that you really need to know. These go hand in hand with the scripting course that I just recommended before. Into those courses, we also have the course bundle uh, on Station X, which is called Ethical Hacking, Kali Linux, Snort, and Wireshark Bundle. So as well, this is really what I recommend if you're going to get into Kali Linux, recommend this resource. So for forensics, I recommend two courses. Number one is on Cyberry. It is called Computer Hacking and Forensic Course. And the second one I recommend that you check out is Computer Forensics on EDX. And for Reverse Engineering, yet again, it's another course on Cybrary called a Malware Analysis and Reverse uh, Engineering. This teaches you the process behind reverse engineering. As I outlined in episode two, really understanding the process of reverse engineering is important for uh, CTF competitions. All right, that's a lot of information that I just gave you right there regarding learning resources. All the links are in the description below. The three that I recommend that you start out with, if you haven't done so, okay, is gonna be first A, the complete cybersecurity course. Go through volumes one and two, as I recommended. Go through volumes three and four, of course, as well. Then I recommend you go into the Python, either the Python course uh, specific to cybersecurity or the ultimate um, bash scripting and Python scripting course uh, bundle that I recommend. And then number three, I recommend you go a, a, into Kali Linux if that is something you really want to go into. Combine those all together and you at least have the fundamental knowledge behind CTFs. So thank you to Station X and, and Nathan House uh, in Cyberry and all the other platforms I mentioned. Really uh, keeping these courses at a low price. I really recommend that you check these out. All right, in the next episode, we address the final question for the final episode to this series, which is where can you exactly compete? Once you have all these skills down, you've used these resources, what exactly can you do and where can you compete? Stay tuned for episode four.